Good evening. Welcome to the highlights of the first of the finals, the Benson Hedges World Series Cup Finals, best of three, Australia playing India. This is the Sydney Cricket Ground and the conditions for the start of play, absolutely magnificent. Blazing sunshine, the outfield looked good. It uh, all was bidding fair for a great match. The teams for this game, the Australians sprang a surprise there. They've made Dave Gilbert 12th man. That means that uh, Dirk Wellham will come into bat at number three and they're restricted then to five bowlers. Wouldn't want to have an injury with uh, just the five bowlers in the side. The Indians have only the one spinner in the side, Ravi Shastri. He's had a great series so far. And they have a marvellous batting lineup. They go right down to the bottom of the order there. No wonder they're world champions at this type of cricket. We pick up play in the very first over. Kapil Dev is bowling to David Boone. There's just one run on the board. Ian Chappell is in the commentary box now. And with him is Tony Gregg. Edged and dropped at first slip by Gaviscar. And to add insult to injury, they get through for a single. Well played. This is the 15th over. Brings up the 50. Intelligent batting from Jeff Marsh. The field up inside the circle. Marsh and Boone really enjoy this ground. Marsh goes or tries to go over mid-off. Sharma under it. And he takes the catch. A shout there from Armanath and uh, Wellham stood there for a while and then he realised that the ball had hit the stumps. May have even been a little bit of inside edge there. A new Shastri over and this time Shastri pitching short. Oh, what a catch. What a catch. Four runs there for the taking and Mohammad Azridin has raced around and taken a magnificent catch of Shastri's bowling. Charge, it's a top edge. Oh, Mahotra, he's had a bad day, he's getting under it. He's got one, and that's the end for David Boone. That's a vital wicket for India. Yeah. Oh, he's got him, he's dragged it back on. Stephen Ward trying to hit square of the wicket. Mohammad Azraddin, he is a star today for India. Goes in the leg side and that's well fielded. This will be out. Out, oh, yes, a brilliant piece of work. What a first from Capital Dev. What a cricketer. What reflexes. And Matthew's gone because of the brilliance of Capital Dev. And I tell you what, not a bad take by the wicket keeper either. The middle stump goes right out of the ground. Tim Zoa trying to whip that one away on the onside. And Dean Jones easily through for single. Keppel Dev hits the stunts and he's run Craig McDermott out. So he saves a run there. And what a brilliant night he's had in the field. Again. Great athlete, great inspiration on the side. Keppel Dev. Look at this. The single's on. Keppel Dev picks up. He makes room and has a shy. In fact, Craig McDermott didn't really run that first one very hard. The Australians sort of got up to uh, the figure they wanted. I reckon they're 25 runs short of what they should have been. Around about 195 would have been the ideal figure. It was rather a stuttery performance, and that was brought about in part by the fact that that uh, tremendous thunderstorm hit the ground and uh, held up play and reduced the match to 44 overs per side. And there's no doubt India have a great advantage there in batting last. The bowling figures, Kapil Dev was superb early on. He finished up with nine overs, two maidens, one for 21. But I thought the bowling performance again was Shastri. Bowling left arm spin around the wicket. Nine overs, no maiden, two for 31. That is a terrific performance in limited overs cricket. So India require 171 to win. The asking rate is 3.88 per over. They won't find it all that easy, but I say again, I think the Australians were 25 runs short of what they really needed. Simon Davis, he really has been a run miser with the ball. Hates having runs scored from him. Keeps away. Ball in! That's just what they needed, the Australians. Beats him well bowled. He's gone, yes, he's got two. Good performance. Shaftry doesn't want to go, but up by a finch, put up the finger, and Simon Davis strikes again. Catch! Gone! Catch! What a great catch. Beautiful performance out there. Jeff Marsh, who's fielded quite brilliantly throughout this series. Ah, oh, got well it. 
Now that is a classic piece of off spinning. And certainly exploiting what spin there is, and there's plenty in it. That's a magnificent hit from Ving Saka. Goes back uh, all good 10 metres over the mid-wicket fence. Certainly got all his weight behind that shot. Goes over cover. Dean Jones is out there, and he's got it. Straight down his throat, and that's a great blow struck by Steve Waugh. Well, they struggled to make enough runs to make inroads into that run rate. I think that brought about the downfall of Ben Saka. And he's bowled him first ball. What a great delivery from Greg Matthews. Beautifully flighted, and once again, quite a bit of turn. Well, Matthews realised that Capel Dev, a bit of a pension for the cover drive. He baited him higher and wider. The crowd go wild. Border. Border's got him. And there's four. It's in the air. And it's caught. Great catch. That's put the seal on some magnificent fielding here. And Dean Jones has raced around and taken another great outfield catch. Mohamed Azruddin took one earlier in the evening. Border has taken his second wicket. It's well struck. There's a man out there. He's going to get a fall short. He doesn't cut it off. And it's through for four runs. Well, he took the chance. He dived for the catch. 18 balls to be bowled and two wickets in hand. It's a cliffhanger at the Sydney Cricket Ground. Border continues. That'll beat Reed. He took a while to turn. Two runs. Well, this is bravery for you with Alan Border bowling this over. It's a calculated risk, a calculated gamble. Border seeing that Matthews got turn has put himself on to bowl. He's persevering with himself. He's taking the responsibility as skipper and as bowler. Bowling! Yes! Went for the swing, got the pad, and it got through Roger Binney, who went for the mid wicket region of Border. Fortune favours the brave. Well, not only is Border having a very, very good day as captain, he's also having a very, very good day after having failed with the bat as a bowler, sensibly keeping this ball up, around about off stump. It didn't spin, it just came on with the arm, but Binny attempting an enormous hoik over square leg, misses and is bowled. Nine for 149. Davis should be able to contain Sharma. Swing and that's not good enough. Almost a run out. And the game gone, one would suggest from India. And what a great performance this has been by the Australian team. The hesitancy there arose from the fact that Sharma wanted to retain the strike. He wasn't keen about the single. He knew he could only get a single. And policeman uh, Matthews there doing his duty, pushing the field back and all but the required four fieldsmen who have to remain in the circle are on the fence. Ball in! Well done, Simon Davis, and a great performance by the Australian team. Defending only 170 runs, they've outbowled the Indians. Magnificent skipper's performance by Owen Border. The fieldsmen held their catches, and the bowlers, particularly Simon Davis, Matthews, Reed, and Border, were absolutely superb, and they should be delighted. The first final goes to Australia. Well, who would have thought it? First of all, Australia starting off so very well with that very good partnership of 68 between Boone and Marsh, falling in a disappointing heat to be dismissed for 170, and then clawing their way back into the game. Why? Because Simon Davis started the Australian bid out so very well, taking two wickets for eight in his first spell and then coming back to claim the last wicket. He was backed up by magnificent fielding, accurate bowling from Reed, excellent bowling from Matthews, who had three wickets, and finally that Davis coup de grace. Well, what a marvellous game of cricket that was. Tremendous tension up here in the commentary box.
around the uh, the outer and in the member stands and the Brawonga stand, the hill stand, enormous tension and certainly out on the field as well.